I'm going to make a very short video this morning, probably going to fast forward through most of it. Um, I haven't made a video for a long time and uh, <clears throat> I have been doing work in the shop uh, with the big regulator clock. So actually I've got most of the parts um, uh, made and I can assemble the clock now uh, pretty much all the way and uh, so I need to make another mount for it. <clears throat> Um, so I'm able to um, extend the uh, a pendulum rod and the <clears throat> uh, the weight so I can uh, start test running it in the current state so right now it's in boxes and in plastic bags and in a million pieces but uh, <clears throat> I think the next step will be to uh, make a uh, some place to mount the <clears throat> back plate at the proper height so I can uh, so I can test run it um, right now I'm, I'm using CNC to cut out the uh, blanking pins and there's two of those they're out they're cut out of eighth inch brass I've been having some problems snapping end mills with brass so um, um, I'm trying something a little bit different today this is just a piece of 360 uh, brass it's fairly soft I'm using a um, Chinese uh, metric uh, end mill uh, to do the job. It's not the, probably the best thing, but it's something I had here. And um, it's four flutes, and it would be better if it was two. And I've decided to use the um, Noga uh, mist spray or spray mist um, to help clear the chips because. I'm thinking that's probably my biggest problem is getting the chips clear and I'm running at a fairly slow feed rate now so I want to give the chips a chance to clear and and a little bit of uh, uh, lube on the on the work so uh, that's what's going on and um, so I'll bring you back in a few minutes when I start cutting I'm gonna get set up with the program Not sure how much I can zoom in. Um, you can see right beside it, to, just to the right, um, I've actually uh, I've successfully cut out one of the blanking pins. So this is the second one. Um, the end mill, is, the the head of the the mill is only fractions of an inch. Um, from the work, so it's hard to get the camera in there. And what I'm doing too is I'm I'm trying to blow the chips out of there by hand. Um, although the the spray mist is helping a lot, um, and I don't foresee any problem. But this is all slot cutting, so um, there's a lot of chip buildup. And it's, the the end mill is um, two millimeters which is about 79,000, so it's a little larger than a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to blow the chips away by hand. And, uh, the blanking pins are fairly small items, they're not very big. I 
wish I could get a better shot of this. I could probably move the camera up a little bit higher. Uh, although I'm, I'm probably, I'm, I'm pretty much at full height right now. Let's see, let me, let me move over to the other. You can see the one I already cut. It's working fairly well. CNC seems to be the ideal way to do this. And uh, the, I'll mention I was a little bit worried about the spray mist, but I'm putting down such a very, very fine spray that it's, it's just evaporating. So it's not causing any problems with anything. It's not making a mess. In fact, I could probably, you know, increase the spray a little bit if I wanted to. Um, and also my mounting system, at least on the first go around, seems to work just fine. Not having any trouble with that. The spray mist doesn't seem to affect the crazy glue or the, or the masking tape. So, um, I could, I could use, uh, uh, some tap, but I'm not using tap. Um, these items are fairly small, and before when I did really teeny tiny items, uh, like the pallet nibs, I used tap for that. But um, I'm not using any tap, and it seems to be holding just fine. So I'll probably have to fast forward through most of this.
Okay, that's it. Um, blow that out a little bit. Although there's not much in there. In the air off. Let's see. Just barely coming out. Actually, I could um, I could increase that. Um, I could increase that. I turn the light off. My camera not picking that up very well. Anyway, you can see what the what the banking pins look like. There's two of them, and they got a hole at one end where a piece of tool steel will be pressed in and um, they got a slot in the middle and they're very small actually they're not very big I think uh, the total width of the the unit itself is three-eighths of an inch and the total length is an inch and three-sixteenths if I'm not mistaken so that's all the bigger they are uh, I didn't use I didn't use tabs to hold them so they're just held there with the tape and the crazy glue so that seems to be doing pretty well they didn't loosen at all they held tight and uh, so I, I'm quite happy with that and like I say I could have probably used more mist um, in the mix I, I could see that um, I could probably just easily just pop them loose right 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 there but I'll I'll put I'll take the whole piece of brass off um, and and polish those and they'll be just fine um, so the CNC is really really handy for making these small clock parts um, it's it's pretty amazing um, I've made several clocks in the past and all this has been done by hand and there's some satisfaction in that but but uh, this gets the job done almost perfectly and um, you know no pain no strain fairly easy so I'll call up now and get this posted. Thanks for watching.